If you're wondering about how to calculate the slope of a line, you're in the right place. To start, you may be given two ordered pairs, as in this problem. Here we go. Find the slope of the line whose graph contains the points negative 4, 8, and 1, 6. Basically, slope is a ratio that describes the steepness of a line. Some folks call this rise over run. To find the slope, calculate the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. Another way to describe this is the change in y over the change in x. There are lots of ways to describe slope. If you've ever calculated the slope of a line when given two points, you've probably used this formula. Don't let those subscripts scare you. They're meant to help you keep the two points straight. It doesn't really matter which point you call x sub 1, y sub 1, or x sub 2, y sub 2, as long as both coordinates in each ordered pair have matching subscripts. Makes sense, right? Labeling the points before substituting the values into the formula is a really good idea. For the sake of originality, let's call negative 4, 8, x sub 1, y sub 1, and 1, 6, x sub 2, y sub 2. The formula for slope uses the variable m to represent slope. Let's substitute 6 for y sub 2, minus 8 for y sub 1, all over x sub 2, which is 1, minus negative 4. Well, 6 minus 8 is negative 2, and 1 minus negative 4 is the same as 1 plus positive 4, or 5. The slope of the line that passes through those points is negative 2 over 5. If you're a visual learner, it may help to see how this slope relates to a graph. Remember, ordered pairs are of the form x, comma, y. Let's plot negative 4, 8. Starting at the origin, moving 4 units to the left along the x-axis, and 8 units up to here. Let's plot 1, 6. Starting at the origin, moving 1 unit to the right, and 6 units up here. Since our slope is negative 2 over 5, this means we have a rise of negative 2, or 2 units down, and a run of 5, or 5 units to the right. You can see our slope works. Note, if you were the rebellious one and named the first ordered pair x sub 2, y sub 2, and the second ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1, your slope would have been 2 over negative 5. No worries. Starting with the other point, just go up 2 units, then left 5 units. We're still talking about the same line and the same slope. It's all about finding the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. Now, back to our original problem. We found the slope to be negative 2 over 5. But do you see any strategically chosen wrong answers here? What did your pal do incorrectly if he got negative 2 and 5 tenths? Looks like an accidental difference of the x's over the difference of the y's. Just remember, rise over run, and you'll get those y values on top. Hey, now you can calculate the slope of a line when given two points.